We continue our special edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture from New Orleans, site of the 90th annual meeting of the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation. Well, if you spend five minutes on any farm in Louisiana, it will not be long before you'll shoo away a fly, a mosquito, or some other insect. But in the heart of New Orleans, there is a place crawling with more than 900,000 bugs of every shape, size, and mobility. As This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine shows us, the Audubon Insectarium encourages visitors to crawl into a bug's life, many with close ties to agriculture. This plain Canal Street entrance belies the wonder of a bug's life. From helpful to pest, the Audubon Insectarium is a place where humans can enjoy them all. <laughs> Audubon Education Director Brenda Walkenhorst says the Insectarium teaches how all insects are beneficial in some way or another, even to agriculture. What we show is, yes, there are some pests, and we show ways for people or agricultural farmers to control pests, but we also want to talk about important insects like pollinators and how they all fit together. And if you can keep a balance, then we can kind of keep pests on their side and beneficial ones on their side, and it still all works. Visitors can go underground with bugs, dig in with Formosan termites, and see butterflies metamorphosize, all with the emphasis on education. And for curious diners who hunger for a little more, the cafe features snacks featuring, well, insects, of course. Those are crickets, and we take all the legs and the wings off before we cook them. Why? Some people don't like to get legs caught in their mouth, teeth. Okay, I, I, have, I have never eaten a bug before. <laughs> And uh, that's the last thing I was thinking about is actually having a wing or a, a leg in my teeth. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll just give it a shot, you can right? Do it. Come on. I can do it. Can okay. Do it. Okay. AJ Sabine eats bugs. All right. One. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to think about it. it. Tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. Exactly. You can't taste them. Okay. It's like a nut. Yeah, I'm nutty for eating bugs. What are you kidding me? <laughs> anyway, but that's part of the beauty of the insectarium. Not only do you get an education about common bugs like mosquitoes and even crawfish, but you get a chance to sample them on your palate. While crickets may be a palate pleaser, the butterfly garden is truly a place of beauty, where this little girl and her mom discovered the compelling power of a bug. That hands-on approach is what inspires visitors to return to the insectarium again and again. Walking Horse says every bug has its role. They're responsible for our food. They're responsible for sanitation, decomposition. They're responsible for part of the food chain. So they're cool because they really reach every aspect of our life. And the more you learn about them, the more you just can't help being fascinated. The Audubon Insectarium. Fascinating. In New Orleans, I'm AJ Sabine for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. Since opening its doors in 2008, the Audubon Insectarium has welcomed more than 350,000 visitors a year. It is the largest freestanding museum devoted to insects in the United States. To learn more, you can visit our website at twilatv.org.